Welcome to Yubu Kombucha. Today we're going to talk about alcohol in your kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented food. And as with other fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi, there is the likelihood that the yeasts eating up the sugar in your kombucha could produce trace amounts of alcohol. It really depends on the specific yeasts present in your SCOBY and how long you let your kombucha ferment both in the brewing vessel and in the bottle, but the amount of alcohol in your kombucha likely won't exceed 1%, maybe 2% at most. The one exception to that might be if you, say, forget a bottle of kombucha and you leave it sitting in your car for a few months. If it's been fermenting in your car for an extended period of time in the hot sun, there's a slight chance that your ABV might be higher than 3%. But at that point, you probably won't even want to be drinking that kombucha since it'll likely taste like vinegar. So knowing that there might be some trace amounts of alcohol in your kombucha, if any at all, it's really up to you if you decide you wanna drink it or not. There are a lot of people like pregnant women or recovering alcoholics that might be wary of drinking kombucha because of the potential alcohol by volume that's contained in the kombucha, but it's really up to you. There are a lot of pregnant or nursing women that drink kombucha regularly and have no problems with doing that. But it's also totally understandable if you decide to err on the side of safety and not consume any of it at all. The choice is really up to you. I haven't been able to find a method that's easy, affordable, and accurate to test my kombucha's ABV at home. But if that changes, I'll be sure to update this video with more information. If you're really curious about how much ABV is in your kombucha, there are ways to outsource it and send it to a lab to get tested. Oftentimes that takes a little bit of money. And you should also know that ABV will fluctuate depending on the brew and depending on the bottle even. So there's no real guarantee that testing one bottle of your kombucha will yield the same results as testing another bottle of your kombucha, even if it's from the same batch and even if you flavor it with the same things. But honestly, just doing the quick math, even if your kombucha is at 2% ABV, most people would have to drink upwards of 10 bottles or more to even start feeling a slight buzz. It is worth noting that store-bought kombucha is federally regulated. So if you don't see a 21 and over label on that kombucha that you're drinking, the ABV will be below 0.5. And without getting into a lot of the details there, it's generally because a lot of commercial kombucha brewers pasteurize their product or use some type of yeast inhibitor to stop the fermentation process and prevent the ABV from going above 0.5. If you want more information about homebrewing kombucha, make sure you check out the other videos on my channel. And for more details, you can always go to youbrewkombucha.com. Happy brewing!